up with the bros? How's it going? Welcome back to the channel. Today we're going to be doing some stuff to this. Uh, he's going to tell you about that in just a second. Yeah. So, I don't know when this video is going to come out or what the deal is, but if you have seen, I made a video on Scrappy and kind of explaining what the deal is and what the situation is there, uh, why we're selling it, and what we're going to be doing to this thing. So, as you may or may not know, this thing, it does run and drive. Um, but it does need some motor work. Like there is clutch material in the oil. Uh, it's got a few other like minor issues and stuff like that. And we just want to refresh the motor because we don't even know if, I don't even think this is the original motor in this thing. So what we're going to be doing is we're going to be pulling this out or pulling the motor out and sending it off, going to get refreshed, all that. And while we're doing that, we can just work on this here. Um, I've already started to order some parts. Like, I've got handlebars that should be coming today, actually. They should be here later today. And, yeah, we'll just get to working on that, start tearing this thing down and rebuilding it. And this will be an actual... We'll get this one running better than scrapping. Yeah, that'll be a good thing. Also, that company that we're sending the motor to is also in the link in the description down yes, below. Yes, that is... Um, and m Cycles. and m Cycles. So be sure to go check it out. I think in the description, it's their Facebook uh, account. Facebook thing. page, something like that. So somewhere. yeah, you can yeah. contact them through there. Uh, we couldn't find a website, or at least I couldn't, so I just linked the best thing I could find. So be sure to go check that out. Uh, he's a good friend of ours. In fact, he's family to us. So He's a, he's always treated as well. Like He's gotten us chain and sprocket for uh, Scrappy and a few other things for him, for, yeah. for Scrappy as well. He's been really cool. We've also gotten a few air, air filters and bits and pieces here and there. So Yeah. Big shout out to you guys. Thank you for your support. We appreciate it. So yeah, we're going to get to working on this. And you, you want to pray and get the video started? Yep, let's pray for it. Dear God, thank you for the opportunity to be here. Thank you for keeping us all safe as we do our normal day-to-day -day things. I pray that you continue to keep us safe and to bless us and uh, give us the wisdom to go throughout this project and uh, show us what to do and uh, try and help us to get through it in an orderly fashion. In your grace, name I pray. Amen. Amen. Let's get into it. Let's get So, the Raptor 700. This was the one I was given for my birthday by this lovely person in my family. Um, I just did the video. I didn't, so yeah, you did the video. You were still a part of it. Well, yeah, I was the secrecy part of it. Yes. E either way. Um, this. We've made a few videos with it before, driving it around, doing some other work to it, uh, showing it off, which is actually our biggest video on the channel, surprisingly. Actually, if you haven't seen that, uh, there's a few links that you can check out. Uh, it's weird. It's like in the top left hand corner I believe check top, it out there either top left or top right I don't know yep, be sure but, to check those videos out alright so the plan with this today is we're going to be starting to tear it down and we're going to be taking the motor out like I said in the intro and shipping it off going to get it refreshed um one also weird problem that we've come across the rear brake rotor is now seized don't know why but either way we're going to be first off taking off plastics unhooking some stuff um we'll we'll eventually i don't know if it'll be in this video or the next video we'll eventually be draining all the fluids getting all that stuff out and then just taking it out so yeah do you want to get started the beauty of editing well we can do this in three days and you guys only see it in one so yeah it'll be cool so yeah you want to get started yeah let's do it all right all right welcome back uh first off we're gonna be taking off plastics i recommend getting like some plastic bags or a metal tray or something and labeling where all your bolts are uh, that's what I'm going to be doing since this thing is going to be torn apart for a little bit. Um, just a recommendation I thought of. We'll be doing that. So let me grab the tools and then we can start the time lapse. <laughs> All right, welcome back for a short break. I just wanted to show y'all something after we got that piece off down there. Um, so if y'all's bike has ever been rolled or anything like that, and the plastic is broken, I just want to show y'all like a little quick repair you could do. Uh, you can either do a like a crisscross X pattern with these, or you can do what I did. I just did what I did because it was a little bit easier. Um, what you can do is drill two holes on each side of the plastic like this, and then you can get a zip tie, like a heavy duty zip tie, and then split in between that, and then squeeze as tight as possible, and then 
basically you can either like super glue or I don't have anything on it like right now I'll probably just get new plastic in the future but you can just repair it like that and I just wanted to show you all that really really quickly but with stuff like this over here sorry well you can't really do much for this I mean you can right here you can, sorry you can't see that right here it's just too small to break and these little things right here are broken these little tabs but yeah just want to show you that really quickly and then we can get right back to the timeline uh, so first part I took off was the black, uh, I guess well, that would be a radiator covered or grill. Uh, first, it's only just two screws at the top. Two, I've got two Phillips heads on there. I don't know if these have been mix maxed or not. Uh, just unscrew those, pull that thing back, and then pop it off. Just got some clips on the bottom. Next piece I took off was the um, gas tank cover, which is just two clips in the back and then two screws on the front or two bolts. Uh, just undo those bolts and then undo the clips on the uh, gas tank pop that thing off pull it back and then Just pop it off and you're good there. Next part is the front uh, plastics. There's just Eight to ten bolts on there. I forget how many off the top of my head Unscrew all those and then all you gotta do is just pull it off uh, There's nothing really holding it on other than the uh, reverse cable, but that's not really on there uh, Next is the back piece um, This is the most tricky one or not really the most tricky one this is just the most annoying one for me um only because there is one bolt in the middle of the exhaust in the air box or yeah into the air box that you got to take out just get an extension uh break that loose and then if your ratchet does not reach just get a screwdriver like i did and unscrew that the rest of the way and then that just pulls off as well so yeah that's basically all you got to do one more thing while i'm here uh when you're taking the back piece off back there be sure not to break or uh Pull any of these wires they are held on by a couple of like rubber little things right here and then there's a clip on this one right here uh, just take a flathead push that up and then pull it up and you got to kind of finagle these underneath the um, plastic right here there's a little hole that you can do that as you can see right there is also a rock in here I don't know why Dwayne he has Dwayne but yeah um, simple as that uh, there's your, like your tool bag and all that or where it's supposed to go But these things just rest on these little posts right here and right here And there's the thing that's supposed to clip on right there, but it's simple enough uh, You guys can figure it out. Also, I didn't have to take the bolt off of this one because this piece is snapped off uh, It is still under there As you can see right there, it's broken off. So we're just gonna leave it and Yeah uh, I need new plastics. These are kind of kind of worn out a little bit. Kind of broken, kind of worn, but it'll be fun. So yeah, um, I'm gonna go take a break because it's hot, and I've got to go do something real quickly. And we'll get right back to the video. With the power of editing. All right, guys, welcome back. Next step is taking off the gas tank. Um, these are all 10 millimeter screws except for this one, I think, because bolts were missing. But yeah, uh, we'll get this taken off and then we can start on that. Uh, all you have to do, unplug this uh, wiring harness, which is the fuel pump, unplug the fuel line, and then from, if I remember correctly, that should be it. And then you just unbolt the bolts, pull it off. So yeah, we'll get started on that. what you're doing here is you are taking this piece off you're pulling this piece out and then it just pops out of there just be uh, careful not to get it in your nose <laughs> it splashed i mean it didn't go in my nose but it just went on my face close enough so i'm probably gonna have like really bad acne later but it'll be fine so yeah um what i do is just i have a rag here just to wipe off because if your gas tank is full like mine because we didn't think this thing was broken when i filled up the gas um we're not gonna talk about it. Um, you just pull that line off and then wipe off any residual gas. That's so, a big word. Not really. Residual? That's a big freaking word. 
There it goes. I have not, I've never heard that word. So, all you gotta do is pop these residual, just left over. Just say left over. Same thing. Bro, we, li we live in South Kakalaki. Over here, it's just, you got some leftovers? You got your own leftovers. Usually for food, though. Haters. All right. Also, I have been labeling all the bolts can't they're in bags inside of a bag labeled you can't, you can't really see it but it says plastic slash gas tank which are these these two so and now make sure that's on and i mean we could do a plug in that off but it would be fine so hey man there's it's not that bad actually you just complain about it earlier so well i didn't even know how heavy it was Fair enough. So while he's doing that, we're basically going to go cut to another time lapse or whatever else he's got planned. So we'll see you guys. All right, welcome back. Uh, as you can see, maybe we have the gas tank off. Um, wasn't that bad. Just four bolts and then those two clips or the gas line and the um, fuel pump wiring harness, whatever you want to call out. Next thing I think we're going to do is we're going to take the air box off and then take this air box tubing off. Which, okay, that's got a hose enough on. I couldn't even tell. Um, and then we're gonna take the battery box out. Battery box out, which pains me because it took me forever to put it on because I didn't take the stupid thing off. <sighs> and yeah, so we'll get right into that, and we'll catch you guys in a minute. Also, remember, mark your bolts, um, do all that stuff. So yeah. Welcome back. Uh, this is what it looks like without everything back there in the back. Yeah. So. Still gotta say, I've just been, um, another thing I suggest doing is taking these. Uh, I just label all the switches, label what the wiring harness is, like that's from the main computer. Uh, all this is back behind that. Also, if you box. can't tell, it's like currently that. raining, yeah. so the sound quality is gonna go out the window. Yeah. Um, so, all I've got to do now is I loosen this hose clamp. We're going to pop the throttle body off, maybe, if I can do that. Uh, is that a switch? What are you, can I just pop you off? What are, what is you? Hold on, hold that. Ah! Smells like gasoline. Because it is gasoline. Because it is gasoline. What are you? All right, well, he figures that out. We're going to figure out the best way to keep it cool in here without the door open, and then we're going to go from there. So, see you guys in a bit. All right, welcome back. Uh, just to show you guys what we've done, we have taken out air box, battery box, and started unplugging some of these wires. Um, what I like to do is go through, label each one, like fuel injector, uh, throttle position sensor down there. I don't know exactly what this one is. I'm going to figure that out. Um, the fuel pump, gauge cluster, all that stuff. Um, all that stuff down there got all the parts and stuff over here this wasn't too bad but now comes the hard stuff which is like well not really hard stuff but kind of more tedious stuff like draining the fluids undoing the chain all doing all that kind of stuff so yeah uh, we will see you guys back in just a few peace Hello, welcome back. Actually, it's a few days after. Uh, I just wanted to give a quick reminder that we are done with today's video. Uh, we just basically got everything done we could. Uh, the next video, we're going to be draining the fluids and whatever else they did in the garage. I was actually at work whenever they were recording this, so I, won't, I don't exactly know what we're doing next, but be, ex be uh, expecting that video. We've also got the Raptor 700Rs. Uh, well, R and the 700. We're doing handlebars for those bad boys, and then we'll have that out. So be expecting some more videos in the future. Hope you guys do like the content. Please be sure to like and subscribe. Hit the post notification bell for future videos, and uh, we'll catch you guys next time. Peace. What's up, Wheeler Bros? I want to say a huge thank you to everyone who has subscribed, and I want to say a huge thank you to your support. It has meant the world to us. And if you haven't subscribed, please consider doing so. It's free. You can change your mind at any time. Plus, it helps out the channel. If you guys want to stay connected with us throughout everything we do, please be sure to go follow our links in the description down below. And, uh, yeah. Speaking of description, we have links in our description all the way from parks that you guys have seen on the channel all the way down to our... Our biggest supporter, Mr. Travis Truitt at Skyline Signs. And as always, I'd like to say a huge thank you, and uh, thank you guys for watching. See you guys next time.